In your health news tonight, a less invasive approach to treating burn scars. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa here now with more on the latest laser procedure for burn victims. Jocelyn. Darren, treatment for burn scars has certainly evolved alongside advances in medical science over the years. Patients like Michelle Lopez are benefiting from the latest laser tool. Michelle Lopez has lived with painful burn scars for almost 11 years, from third and fourth degree burns. My burns consist from the top of my head to the bottom of my waist. She was doused with rubbing alcohol, a victim of domestic violence. Physically and emotionally, you go through a lot. She's getting a lot of help here at Connecticut Skin Institute from dermatologist Dr. Omar Ibrahimi. She has these constrictors and they're actually extremely painful. And restricts her ability to move. Dr. Ibrahimi is using the latest laser tool for burn scars to release the tension. What the laser actually does is it performs almost microscopic surgery and we remove a, a very tiny microscopic portion of the uh, burn scar with um, each hit of the laser. It kind of tricks the body into healing itself. So um, without cutting or, or moving any tissue, um, the laser basically helps the body reduce the nature of the scar, flatten it, make it more flexible. The focus is the scars on Michelle's neck. This photo is before her first treatment. This one was taken immediately after. I was able to move without so much pulling. There wasn't as much tension. It never fully erases the scars, but in a matter of minutes, it makes a huge impact on a patient's quality of life. Even giving them a few degrees of motion might mean the difference between them being able to do certain tasks independently. This is Michelle's third treatment, just the start of more to come. It's a continuous treatment, and I think it's as far as I start to feel as normal as I can feel. Some insurance companies do cover the procedure. It could run from several hundred dollars to thousands. The cost really depends on the treatment area. Dr. Ibrahimi hopes that it will one day become the gold standard for treating scars. For more information, log on to our website, WTNH.com.